Buying this Toyota Tacoma was a mistake. I should have bought something else. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. And that's right, buying that Toyota Tacoma was a big mistake on my part. I really should have gotten something else. And I've been thinking about this. It's time to come clean. It's time to let you guys know what it is I'm thinking. First of all, let's be clear. I love the truck. I love the setup. Might be a bit conceited since, you know, I had a lot to do with it, but I didn't do everything. I mean, I didn't put the tires and the wheels on. I picked them. I didn't do the lift, but I picked it. But I love the truck overall. I think it's come out awesomely. And I love the way that it looks, the stance, the color, all of that. But from my perspective, what it is that I do, a YouTuber's perspective, I bought the wrong truck. What I should have bought was an SR5, something more basic. Why? Well, because I am a modder. It's really what I love doing. To be honest, sitting in front of the camera and just jabbering, talking, is not really what I enjoy doing. You know, I like doing stuff with my hands, getting dirty, changing the look of the truck, adding mods. It's what I really love doing. It's why I started doing this to begin with. It's why I have my other trucks to keep me busy, to give me more things to do. Plus, I love the way that they turn out. I love customizing them and making them my own. But my big mistake, the big mistake I made in buying this version of the Toyota Tacoma was I eliminated some of those things. I also spent money on things that have taken off, I've removed. There are a lot of you on there that have reminded me of that. And I appreciate that, and you're right. I paid for things that I've taken off and either trashed or sold for a heck of a lot less money than they're really worth, which is what the used market is all about, right? So I should have bought the SR5 because I then could have molded that basic truck or more basic truck. There are more base, but I think the SR5 is the perfect trim level to get if you're into modding and you want to build the truck and make it into your own. Or if you have a YouTube channel like I do, and that's kind of what you do for a living, right? What was I thinking? So what did I waste on this truck? What have I taken off and removed that I paid for? Well, first of all is the TRD off-road suspension, right? The shocks, the coils, they're gone in the front and the back. No longer do I have the stock shocks in the back. They're gone. They were replaced with Bill Steins, which I really like, by the way. And there's a two-inch block back there. What about in the front? Well, the coilovers are gone. The coils are gone. The shocks are gone. There's also a spacer up there. All of that stuff is gone. I paid for that. And then I paid for more when I did the lift, right? A whole new setup. What a frickin' waste of money, but I did it. Number two is the badging. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, it's badging, big deal. Have you ever looked at the cost of badging, stickers, the Tacoma thing that you put on the side? The OEM versions I'm talking about. They are expensive. They're not cheap if you wanna replace one for one. I had that stuff on the truck. I paid for it. It's all an integral piece of the price, right, of the cost. It's gone. All of it's gone. I think a couple things are now decorations in the garage. The stickers, well, you mutilate those when you take them off. I'm talking about the TRD off-road stickers on the back of the bed. They're garbage. They're at a landfill somewhere, along with the money that I spent to have them in the first place. The wheels and tires. Now, this is the one area that I probably made the best decision on. When I built this truck, and if you're new to the channel or not familiar, I built this truck. I ordered it, I waited five months to get this truck. But when I did that, I specced out the lowest level of tires that I could get on the truck and wheels. I think it's what actually came with the base, if you will, TRD off-road. So I did not upgrade them. 
But either way, I replaced them all, including the spare. There was cost in that. Now, I did sell them, but I didn't get out of them what they're worth. I mean, it's the used market. You're never going to get what you pay for them. So that part that I paid of that sticker price on that truck is gone. And then again, I also paid for new ones. So not only did I lose money on the wheels and tires that came with the truck, including the spare, I spent more money to get different ones, even though I did go with the most basic level that I could get for the truck. Leather interior. Now, I'm not going to accept full blame for this because I did have to get leather for the package that I wanted. Did I really need that package? Well, that's a matter of debate, I suppose. You know, the... 3D camera or the all around camera system, you know, that's something that I wanted. So, eh, probably could have gone with a lower trim there as well. I would have lost that function, but I could have added a front facing camera myself. I think it cost less than 150 bucks. I did it. I did it on my 2018 Toyota Tacoma. I should have done it on this one. But anyway, back to the leather. I have a leather interior. It looks good, love the looks of leather. And if you have little kids and they spill things and stuff, probably not a bad idea. But for me, I'm past that. I don't have little kids spilling stuff in my trucks. So I didn't need the leather. It's a waste for me and it hasn't worn well either. I've got some nicks and some scratches. There's a video on the channel about that and my feeble attempt to try to fix them but it's a waste for me. Still looks good and it's hot. What was I thinking? I live in a climate where right now today in September, really October, it's 90 degrees, bright sunshine, humid, it's hot. So when I jump in this truck, when it's sitting outside, like it is right now, I'm gonna bake. And of course I'm wearing shorts. You know what happens when you wear shorts and you jump in a black leather truck, right? It's not going to be comfortable. I dread doing it. What a waste of money. I shouldn't have done that. I should have gone cloth. I will forever go cloth given the choice. And I realize that dependent upon which package you get, sometimes you don't have a choice. And my philosophy going forward is going to be base as possible, but with only the things that I cannot do myself. Let's talk about power up windows. That's why I wouldn't go with the most basic Tacoma because that's important to me. I want power up windows. I want a decent radio. That's really about it. The 10 way power adjustable seats. I want that as well because you need that to get a good comfortable seating position in the Toyota Tacoma, but that's it. So what am I going to do? That's probably the big question. Well, will I sell it? Will I go to an SR5? Got to admit, I've made a few videos toying with the idea of what the truck is worth, how much I could get out of it. Will I trade it? Will I sell it? I don't know. I haven't decided, but I got to say, I do have the urge. The urge is back once again. Uh, it's lasted longer on this truck than I expected it to, uh, but I wouldn't mind having an SR5 to start all over something much more basic. And I don't know if I've ever had an SR5. I've had the Sport, I've had obviously the off-road and the Access Cab, which I believe that was an SR5. So I did have the Access Cab SR5, but that was well before I ever got into modding and certainly YouTube. But I would like to have one now to kind of mold and, and make it my own, if you will. Time will tell, we'll see. Probably all hinges on what this truck is worth and, uh, and what I can get out of it. I could remove mods, but that's kind of a drag. I really don't like removing mods. My thing is to put them on, taking them off is just not fun. Anyway, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Should I keep this truck or should I sell it and start over with an SR5 version? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels, Rob Motive FST, all about my 2021 Toyota Tundra SR5. And Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. 
Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay frugal out there. Bye.